number two a uh, figure show vertical time graph of motion along the straight line so this is graph v versus time t and calculate average velocity and average acceleration so number one here so average acceleration so the average velocity velocity average is given by the change of uh, displacement or divided by change of delta T. So here the, displace, the uh, displacement here is because this is a graph uh, V versus T so you can find the uh, displacement or distance here uh, this is area under the graph so this is half and we have uh, 45 45 times uh, plus 84 24 uh, 12 so this is uh, plus 24 minus 8 is equal to 16 and this is time uh, 15 right trapezium right area uh, this is a trapezium shape the area under the graph so you can find the uh, delta s here and the time taken from uh, 0 to 45 minutes we have uh, 45 seconds so the average uh, we average is equal to 10.17 meter per second and number th the next is a uh, average acceleration so average acceleration is a uh, delta v divided by delta t so if you look at the graph here we have for uh, the delta v here you can use um, uh, the change or the, the change of the uh, velocity here because this is initial and okay here this is the initial v and the final v we have a uh, zero so many we have a zero and this is time t is a 45 second so now average acceleration is equal to zero right or zero meter per second square right okay sketch and label the displacement time graph so to plot graph displacement as meter unit and the time t second so first you look at the the first part the first part here from 0 to 8 so 0 to 8 if you look at the graph so this is a uh, increase of velocity or this is a uh, refer to the uh, acceleration constant acceleration so we have increase of velocity so if you plot graph s versus t for the graph here this is we have a curve graph okay increase of v see this is displacement and this is uh, 0 to 8 second so the next the second part from 8 to 24 here we have a constant v so meaning this is a constant v meaning we have no acceleration here no acceleration here meaning we have a uh, look like the straight graph we have a constant constant v right okay we have a constant we have sorry we are, yeah we have a constant v here this is the second part from 8 to from 8 to 24 second right and the next for the third part uh, we have a, a decrease of acceleration so meaning the object start uh, moving slow so meaning that the, the graph here is a curve graph okay and this is a start moving slow and this is a the, we have a total distance here or displacement and here we have the final here we have a 45 second right so here we have a graph of um, S versus T. Uh, uh, number B here. So we have a uh, bullet fire vertical, a bullet fire vertical upwards, and initially uh, speed is uh, 60, right? Uh, 60. So meaning uh, the direction of a bullet upward, and after reach the maximum height, the bullet start moving downward and moving to the next. This is a ground surface. 
uh, calculate the time uh, time interval delta t for bullet to be 800 800 from the ground so meaning we have uh, what is the time t time interval t here when the distance from the bullet to the ground ground is 800 meter so this is a question and now to calculate the t here you can start with uh, to calculate the t you can start with the uh, equation s is equal to ut minus half g t square so because the the process here is upward downward and start moving to the ground surface so this is the total distance here because the first part they say this is upward positive and the second uh, second part this is a negative and the third part is a negative equal direction downward and then this is the value here is 800 meters so meaning because this is uh, the same uh, distance or displacement that's why we cancel the displacement here we have only 800 here all right okay so next we have um, so this is a negative right? right direction to the downward so we have the ut start with the initial velocity 600 600 meter per second and the t and minus g here is 9.81 and we have a t square so our next is you can use to calculate the t here because we have a t and a t square meaning you have the two value of t in the first t let's say you have a 135 and the second t you have a 120.98 second so this is the the t, t the first t here is a the first part t 1.3 second so the first part is a 1.3 sorry 35 second and the second part is a the direction for the uh, the second part here we have a 120.98 so now the time interval we have a 120.98 minus 1.35 seconds so we have a time interval 119.63 second okay at the point here right so now we go to the question number c uh, why the displacement and velocity in projectile motion can be analyzed separately in x and y direction so for the projectile motion if you draw the motion of the part of the projectile motion so we have a uh, okay like this and let's say we have a uh, this is a ground surface here right so let's say let's say the initial u say this is angle theta okay so now you here in between the uh, y and y and y and x exists right so when you you can uh, resolve to the you can resolve to the y and can resolve to the x so if i draw here so we have a u right so u here right and the u you can resolve to the ui I can u here you can resolve to the ux this angle theta and that's why if you uh, look at the projectile motion the motion of the object have the uh, this is a vector quantity u and so u here uh, have a direction uy to the y axis and u here also have a direction of the ux meaning for the ux and the ui here we can uh, find the solution or solve the problems uh, or analyze separately in the x and y direction right uh, this is uh, if you compare to the uh, one one d eh, one dimensions the object moving only on the uh, x eh? so meaning this is a um, uh, v x and we don't need to use uh, v y v y here because the object only moving on the horizontal line right so this is uh, how you can uh, uh, describe uh, why the displacement and velocity in projectile motion can be analyzed separately in the x and y exists right 
So our next question is number two is C2 a projectile launch with velocity 45 meter per second and angle 60 from horizontal. Okay, calculate the time when the velocity make angle 30 degree. If you draw the situation here, situation number two, eh, this is projectile. So many we have an object. Alright, this is round surface. Say and we have the uh, velocity here. Right, P is equal to 45 meter per second, and now we have an angle so here is uh, 60, right? Okay, and the next is, mm, yeah, this is let's say this is the path of motion of the object. Okay, let's say here. The position here, the angle is a, okay, the angle here is a, let's say 30 degree. So now, the question asks you what is the time, the, the, when the angle is 30, so what is the time T? Yes, if the object start moving downwards, the angle 60 here, here is start uh, uh, decrease, right, uh, from 60 let's say to 30 and what is the time taken? To, to calculate the t here, you can use uh, because to okay draw the okay so here we have a uh, let's say uh, let's say this is v and here we have oh sorry right here we have a uh, say we have a uh, t is this is a v and you have a v here you can resolve to the uh, vy and resolve to the vx here so now uh you can use the triangle here right so the triangle here if you compare the vx 30 and vy you can use the let's say uh, tangent theta right tangent theta let's say ten tangent is 30 so the tangent here, you can use trigonometry, tangent is a uh, opposite is divided by uh, adjacent, okay. So uh, opposite here we have a V, Y and the adjacent here we have a V, X. So next, you can use the V, Y here, right, so tangent theta is the T, right, so we have a So, so this is v y and the v x because v x is a constant value eh? v x is always constant value here with the you say this is v initial so here is a v x is uh, 45 cos uh, 60 right cos 60 so now you can find the value of the v y here so you can find the value of v y right so now to calculate the value of the v here right so the v here so you can use the uh, equation uh, vy is equal to uy minus uh, gt yeah? so calculate the sorry the calculate the time t right the time t here so here uh, vy here is a uh, question number sorry the answer here you can use the value here 40 cos 60 and the uh, ui here is initial u initial u here is a here this is a ui or ui is equal to 45 45 meter per second uh, sine 60 
So this is UI 45 sine 60. And the G is 9.81. And you can find the value of the T. So it just the calculator here, T is a 2.65 second. Right?